Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video about upgrading your mosquito zapper or your mosquito racket. These are pretty useful, you basically hold down the button, wave it around and any mosquito that gets hit is zapped and dies. But there's a problem with these, inside they use a lead acid battery and it just doesn't last very long. Normally within a month, maybe two months, these things stop working. Everything inside is actually okay, the only thing that's not working anymore is the battery. Now the other problem is the charging. They have to be plugged into the wall and have to charge for around eight hours. That's a long time and you wouldn't want to trust something like this plugged into your wall uh, and left unattended. You'd have to keep an eye on it. So what I want to do today is simply replace the battery inside, which will be lead acid, and instead put a USB cable so we can run it from a power bank. So all I'll do is put a rubber band around here and then I can power it directly from the power bank. Yes, it's five volts, which is a little bit higher, but it should work okay. So I Remove the screw so the case can come open and here you can see the battery. Uh, first thing we're going to do is actually remove these two wires here. This is where the AC charger comes in. We won't be using that anymore so we'll just break them off. So let me just do that now. The next thing I'm going to do is remove the battery and I'm going to break the wires from here. The red is obviously positive and the blue is negative. So now the battery is removed, we have our positive and negative that we're going to hook up to our USB cable. Now any old USB cable you have is just fine. I have this old micro USB cable. Uh, it's quite short so I think this will be perfect. So I'll cut the end off this and inside there's a red wire and a black cable. So I'll join red to red, black to blue. Now if you have a soldering iron you could solder these wires together. But if not, you can just twist them together like I have here, and that will be good enough for this application. Now, of course, we have to put some electrical tape around each one to make sure they won't short out against each other. So now the wires have been taped up. What I'm going to do is use some hot glue to secure the wire in place. And there you go. Now the cable is glued in place. We don't have to worry about it getting pulled, and we can put this back together again and test it out. So here's the finished racket. I decided to tape the power bank in place instead of using rubber bands. I also taped down the cable just so that it's you know nice and convenient, nice and portable still. Um, nothing's going to fall apart. Uh, it's still very easy to charge a power bank. I just plug in a micro USB cable and it works just like before. Press down the button. If I test it with some scissors, you can see it still zaps. Um, so yeah, it's basically the same thing but much faster to recharge and it's not going to die after a month or two because of the lead acid battery that it used before. Um, this will automatically turn off this power bank and then when I press the button it turns on again. There you go, it turned off. So if I press the button, the racket lights up and the power bank turns on. So it's a, it's a good solution actually and this will last for a very, very long time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.